Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Nice to see you guys again. I know I probably look a little crazy right now, but it's because I'm about to do the makeup challenge. If you guys haven't heard about it yet, it's a makeup challenge that makeup artists have been doing where they pick their favorite palette and then they put numbers in a bag. So, for example, I picked um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, the one that she collaborated with Morphe to do. This palette has 35 shades in it, so what I basically did was put 1 through 35 on pieces of paper, then I put it in a bag, and I'm going to shake it up. <laughs> I did some of my face. I'm going to finish off doing my face after you see what my eyeshadows <laughs> look like. Um, so yeah, let's see. The first number is... First number is 25. <laughs> I'll show you guys what the colors end up being when I pick. So you have to pick three numbers. I don't know if I said that before. All right, my second number is seven. I think the Jaclyn Hill palette, because I just love that palette. Oh. Oh. Oh, it was either that or the 35OM. So I feel like this one has a little bit more colors to play with. So, And the last number is 27. You guys can't see the number on the camera, but let's see what these numbers are. Hmm. I'm nervous. It's like, I'm nervous, but I'm excited because this is fun. So let me see. Number seven will be... Oh, this is pretty. I actually like this color. It's this color right here. The next one is this one. This one right here. And then... The last one is... <laughs> This one right here. Okay, so this should be interesting. <laughs> we have two metallic shades and one matte shade. Let's see what I come up with. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I mean, let's swatch it on my hand. Because, you know, when you're coming up with a look, you need to swatch the colors on your hand to see what it looks like. So number seven. These are my swatches. Thank you. Thank you. I, th I think I, I think I, I think I know what I'm gonna do. All right. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I brought a mirror to see how I'm gonna do this. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, at least I tried. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the darkest shade, which was number 27. I'm looking into a mirror. I don't know. Trying to blend it as much as I can because it's pretty dark. But uh, I'm gonna make it work. I was gonna do my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. <laughs> I kind of nervous. I was like, oh, these colors, all the colors are so pigmented and bright. I was just like, I think I might look a little crazy. First of all, I just want to say doing this on camera is a challenge because holding a mirror and doing your makeup, I mean, doing your eyeshadow the whole time. My arm is going to hurt. I just know it is. I have hooded eyelids, so I want to bring the color up enough so you can see it. And I didn't use any transition colors because I don't think, I mean, they didn't mention that you could and I don't want to cheat on the challenge. I want to stay true to it and just use the three colors that I picked. All right, so now I'm going to take that brown metallic shade. This one right here. And I'm going to apply it on my eyelid. Hmm. 
I don't know why I keep laughing like that. Oh, if you guys haven't noticed, I cut my hair shorter. I know, something dropped me. I don't know, miss it. Whatever, it's gonna go with hair, right? I feel so exhilarating, I feel so freeing. Um, my hair takes like two minutes to do now, and it's like the best thing I ever did. But don't be surprised when I make my next video, my hair looks different. I got a wig on, I got braids, or I got twists. That's just me. Anyway, I think we had this conversation already. Okay. I wonder if I should have just sprayed my brush. Maybe I should apply this on my finger. Can you guys see that? I don't know. I'm putting this more on the center of the lid because I think I'm going to use that rosy gold color for the inner corner just to like, you know, bring it in. You know what's so funny? Doesn't this kind of look similar to my Valentine's Day look except for this brown is like darker? I'm going to take the rosy metallic. It's like peach. I don't know. I'm going to line my waterline with some black eyeliner. Wow, this is... I never did it like this before. But I'll poke myself. <laughs> wow, I got the eyeshadow. I forgot it was on my finger. Look at this. I'll fix it. Wait. I'm done. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take that dark brown color, the first color you use, and I'm just gonna make it look a little smoky. Yo, I look so crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. Real life. This is real life. Real life stuff happening here. Alright, I smoked it out a little bit. I'm going to take this color, the rosy color, and just put that right here. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm going to go uh, take this eyeshadow off my face. I'm going to pop on some lashes and then show you guys the finished look. Okay! Sorry, if you hear the noise in the background, that's my fan. I'm like, it's like 8 degrees right now, so I'm hot. And <laughs> I don't want to be doing a video when you see like sweat running down my face. But... Alright guys, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, turn on your notification bell for all of that. This was a nice quick video <laughs> if you guys do the challenge don't forget to tag me tag your favorite makeup artist it's just something fun to do as you can tell it didn't take much for me to do it I didn't do any kind of extravagant something I just used the colors they they came out pretty well I mean it was it's not colors that I would put together on my own but it came out pretty anyway thanks for watching bye guys